all right yo what's going on youtube it is your boy q i'm back again with another video for you guys before we jump into the video you guys already know the deal follow me on instagram and twitter because those are my most used social medias and it's gonna be where you can stay up to date with me the most and if you guys ever want to hit me with a dm you already know shoot me a dm i'll respond right away and if you guys want to shoot me some samples too i always got my loop email open loops for q at gmail.com if you guys have not seen my last video i just made my discord so if you guys ever want to pop in there and talk with the community and everything Go ahead and join that. The link will be in the top of the description below to join that. You guys should already know this, but my new website is live, quintababa.com. I got all my drum kits, loop kits, a new one-shot kit. My new full circle multi-kit is up there as well. If you guys want to cop any of those, it really helps me out and it just supports the channel. And also, the sounds are just fire, so... But anyways, let's actually talk about the topic in today's video, which is how to make a beat for Gunna. Kind of like a Wheezy-inspired beat. We're going to be going for like an orchestral instrumental type of wave like that so something super bouncy and just something you would hear wheezy make and then something gonna could just hop on and ride that bit let's hop in fl and get this going all right so i got my fl open right here and we got that bpm set to 124 and i actually have the new nexus pulled up right here and i have this these uh 70s vinyl strings pulled out right here kind of sounds like that this is what we're going to do here is i'm going to go and just pull up the scale highlighting you go under view and you're just gonna go to scale highlighting and I'm gonna set this to B minor actually. And I'm just gonna start with some simple triads and try and find a super bouncy melody. The way you make a triad is once you are in the scale highlighting, it'll have the notes blacked out that are actually not in scale. So all you have to do is skip one note from the root note. And in our case, the root note is B. So if we skip one note in the scale, that would be C sharp and we go to the D. That would be your first note on top of the root note. And then you're going to skip from the D one note in the scale and go to the F sharp and boom, you got your first triad. And then I'm just going to raise this up an octave, that middle note. I do this a lot. You probably will see this a lot in my tutorials. Let's see if we can get a basic little chord progression going here. So I like how that sounded and I just kind of want to mess with the sound a little bit right now. So I don't even know how to use Nexus 2 yet, but let's see. I'm sure we can figure it out. And I routed that to Mixer Track and we're going to pull up a Fruity Parametric EQ and just pull out some of that hand. Cool. So now I'm just going to clone this Nexus instance and we're going to try and find another... Uh, Actually, before we do that, what I'm going to actually do is pull up this contact bank just because I want to get this idea out of my head. I hear like a violin on top of this. So I'm going to go to this contact bank right here, a Belkin Ethnic Orchestra, and we're going to pull up this, yeah, this romantic violin and add like a little lead up on here. Like that so i'm just routing that to mixture track two and then now we're going to try and mess with this uh second nexus instance we'll see if we can find a cool little sound here under the library and then let's go under under plucked we can find something the thing i like about nexus is you can just click on it and it kind of uh pre-plays the sound for you i kind of like this muted guitar let's see if we can mess with this a little <laughs> All right, cool. So I like that. We're going to pull up another instance. And what I'm going to do here is I find like some kind of actual guitar. So we're going to go to the guitar presets right here. Then we're going to, uh, so when I place this note, what I'm going to do is go into the magnet right here, change it to one sixth the beat, control U on my keyboard to chop it up. And we're going to make it like crescendo up in volume. Well, now we're going to EQ that a little bit and just kind of make it sit in the mix a bit better. Pull out that low end. Pull out that high end. Pull 
Oh yeah, I like how this is going so far. So um just uh I guess let's try and add a base real quick. So I'm gonna head over to my one shot kit available at quindibaba.com. It is called deserted if you guys are looking for it. And basically what I'm gonna do here is just go to the base and see if we find a cool little base. I'm probably gonna use this one right here. Kind of more of a like a guitar base. And what we're gonna do is go to the envelope settings and make it a square. And I'm also gonna normalize the wave. And then we're just gonna follow the root note. So So I don't know what that was, but it's kind of like this little vocal. I'm just going to let it sit in the background. Right, so now what I'm going to do is just route all of these to Mixer Track 6. And we're going to put an EQ on there just to pull out the low end. We're going to start on the drums. And then for the drums in this video, I'm going to be using all of the drums from my new drum kit called Euphoria. You guys already know where to go to grab that, quintibaba.com. It is part of the full circle multi-kit, but you can get it separately if you need to. So first thing we're going to do is just go to the claps folder. Use this one called potent. We're going to apply the default clap pattern. Then we're going to get a hi-hat. Use this one called clips. We're just going to uh, fill each two steps. We're going to go to the piano roll. And we're just going to make some rolls to make the bounce a little better. So what I'm going to do here is just duplicate this over for the four bars. And we're going to try and make like a few different changes to the second half of it. So we can duplicate it over for eight. Actually, you know what? I forgot. We could just keep this at four bars because the loop's so short. Let's get a snare going. Yeah, so I like that right there. And then the next thing we're going to add is an open hat. Use this one right here. We're just going to pan it a bit. We're going to pull out some of that. Just bring the out knob up. And I'm also going to go and add an uh, R compressor to the melody. And the reason I'm doing this is just because the melody is kind of like all over the place in volume. And what this will do is help like squish it together. I'm going to bring the ratio down a little bit, and we're going to bring that threshold down. All right, and then straight to the 808. So I'm going to be using this one for my kit right here, called at, at, at. And we're going to pull that in, click cut itself, uh, and then I'm just going to follow the root note, and I'm also turning it up all the way. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go into the 808 envelope settings and make it a square, just so we could do some 808 pauses like this. Yeah, so I like that right there, and I'm going to go into the settings right here and kind of pull up that out knob. All right, so I like that 808 pattern right there, but before I'm like completely finished with it, we're going to go through and just mess with some of these other 808s, see if we can find something a little better. So I'm actually going to route these to the mixture track, and messing with the 808s actually gave me the idea. What I'm going to do is actually an 808 switch here, so I'm going to have that 808 originally, and what that kind of reminds me of is this song right here. Ski kind of has an 808 switch, I believe. And also, if you guys did not know this already, in my full circle multi kit, one of my favorite parts of the kit is I have these presets in there. They're uh they're for FL Studio only, but there's like a hi hat, um, one for your 808, a master preset, and then one for your melodies. And I love this hi hat one because what it does is it really just gives this hi hat a really cool bounce. Go ahead and apply right here. <laughs> Cool, so now what we're going to do is go back into the 808s. And I want this one again, so what we're going to do is 
clone this 808 and then we're gonna put this one on here copy the pattern over <laughs> And then we're also going to bring a kick in here just for a little like switch up we could do. Cool, so now we're just going to do a little arrangement. So we're going to pull all the sounds out here, make sure they're all four bars long. Going to duplicate that over a bunch of times. And then we're going to start with the intro has the bass in it and I just got to make sure the bass is actually playing this time. All right, I actually think we're going to completely take that bass out. I don't know why it's like throwing the vibe off. And what we're going to do here is, let's see. We're going to have it go like this right here. I'm actually gonna change this 808 pattern. I'm gonna have the second note come out like that. And I'm also gonna add this little riser I have right here. I'm also gonna take out that guitar. And then for this little transition right here, I'm just pulling the drums out and bringing all of the melody back in. Like this. Let's go. Well, then we're just going to duplicate this over, but for instead of this part having no drums at all, what we're going to do is just bring the clap and the hi-hat back in here. So we're just duplicating this over twice, and that is the whole beat right there. Who's going to kill you for this one? Kill you. She want to know when I fall. Kill you. I want to I want to I want I'm in it, I'm in it, I'm in a bag in a bin with a bitch and she's hugging me off huh. I told that bitch that she wanna come fuck with me, fuck with me hard huh. You can have fuck with my boys and the shit and I'll shoot you right off Yeah, back to the top with these bitches, they swing at me, fuck with me off, fuck with me off I'm in a race, hit the red top with a black one Bad move beat like that, that She wanna say that I'm not that First try off the dome. I'm in the back of the bins with this bitch and she's sunning me off. Okay. Hey. I'm in the back of the bins with this bitch and she's sunning me off. Fucking these bitches, she said that she wanna get off. I can't even stand with these bitches, they fucking in my. I'm in the back of the bins with this bitch and she's sunning me off. All right, so yeah, that is everything. That's the whole video. I hope you guys did learn something. I hope I taught you guys how to make a beat like Wheezy would. And if you guys did enjoy this video or if you learned anything at all, hit that like button for me because it really helps push this video to other people that want to see it. And also make sure you subscribe because a lot of you guys are not subscribed yet. So let's get you on the team. Like I've mentioned before, I started that Discord. So join that if you want to talk. The community is always open and we're always doing stuff in there. Also follow me on Instagram, most used social media, and it's always popping on there. But yeah, I'll play the beat after this video, but that's all I got for you guys right now. So I will see you in the next video.